Okay, this is gonna be a good video. People are gonna love this. Good morning, everyone. Today we are in sunny Florida, the west side of Florida to be specific. And I'm at a brand new jetty, I've never fished it before, inlet area. Inlet areas, rocky areas, these are always really great places to try fishing, especially when the ocean meets the bay side. This opening that allows the water from the ocean to come into the inshore area, these are great highways that fish travel through, great places for you to try fishing. And uh, this is my first time fishing this inlet. I think it's gonna be really productive. My friend, whose channel is Fish On Channel, I actually was watching some of his videos and I saw he was catching a lot of fish here. This is my first time visiting the west coast of Florida and something that's really important when you're fishing a new area is to do your research. Fish On Channel has really helped me figure out some different spots. And I actually met the guy at the pier. His name is Bushy. He's a really nice guy and he, he encouraged me to come to this particular spot. I'm really excited. I saw his video here and he caught a lot of fish and I, I want to be, I want to try the same thing. So I've got a really simple way to catch a lot of fish and pretty much all the locals here know about it. It's called using a goofy rig or a goofy jig or a banana jig. It's a little jig head that's weighted and it sinks to the bottom. You use light line and you flutter it up and you let it flutter down. You pick it up, you let it flutter down. This will catch so many different kinds of fish. And it's really simple because all you need to worry about is what color jig head what size jig head and um, what color trailer what size trailer it's very simple you don't have to worry about getting anything snagged on the bottom too much it's just very simple a weighted hook you jig it let it flutter simple put a slice of clam on there maybe a piece of squid on there too and this will give it some more action some more scent I'm gonna hook the clam on This trailer one like this, squid on like that, just like that. And when it flutters down, it looks like just bait coming down. It looks like a lot of different things. Pump. Woo. Nice. That one hit like three times before I actually hooked it. So jetties are also notorious for all of their rocks and inlets in general have a lot of rocky areas. You're going to need to watch out for snags. When you bring your line in too close to you, there's going to be a lot of rocks. Whereas out there is not going to be as many rocks. So you cast it out there, jig, jig, jig. But when you get close to you, bring it in because you'll get it snagged. What the heck? Two jacks at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Two jacks, one line. Just hold it up, I can just... Is that lunch? No, I'm throwing it back. Oh. I don't eat these ones. What'd it feel like? Strong hug. All concrete with a little peel, so it's, it's better access for the camera and everything. Yeah, oh. easy. So the parking is right there. So there you go. Hit the 
clam. I took it off too. See, when you put the clam on it, it catches all different species on it too. I caught two of those at a time. Uh, one oh, yeah, on, yeah, one yeah, on okay. each. Do you got that in camera? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I got so the next thing I want to talk about is the tide that I'm fishing in. So for inlets, it's a really great tide to fish in incoming because all the fish are coming in from the ocean into the inshore areas. So if you're fishing right at the inlet, you're going to intercept some fish. This is a great time to try fishing. Outgoing, I hear that this spot is not so great. But I'm going to try it during the incoming, this entire tide from the low all the way to high tide, and see how many fish I can get right now. <laughs> Fun fight. See that? Now that's a keeper. Right in the mouth too. Great size. Yeah, you're right. No, it's okay. Just a jack. Look at her running. It's okay, Harry. Don't don't hurt. It's okay. This is what we're after. Pompano. Hey Bushy, you have any do you have any advice? Here. What is that? And do you have any advice when you're fishing with goopy jigs here? What, what's your best advice? Uh you follow the current. If the current is strong, I go with a uh, bigger jigs. If uh, it's slack tight, I go with as light as I can three okay. or smaller. What, what's your favorite color to use? What, what are your favorite uh, colors? Pink and white with a green teaser. Okay. And yellow and white and pink teaser. Yellow and white with yeah. pink teaser. But what you have is kind of orangey, kind of yellowish. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Pink and orange. Pink and orange, pink and orange yes. Similar to pink and yellow. How yes. about um, leader line? What kind of leader line? Uh, do you like? I'll go with 15 if I can. Yeah. Spanish macro and uh, ladyfish don't bite. That's what I've got on right now. 15. Oh, you got 15? Yeah. That's so 15, you're able to get a lot more fish, but. Oh, you, yeah. You risk you risk losing your. You lose your a lot of your fish and your jigs. So. Yeah, but so that's worked. the trade-off. Yeah. Okay, like for cool. me, it didn't work all day. I had 30. Now I dropped 25. No, now I'm dropping to 20. Let's see how 20 is. I think 20 is going to be yeah. the money right there. We'll see. Thanks for the advice. Try. Cast it out. Let it sink. 
Once it starts getting over here, just you can just start bringing it back in. You don't want to jig around here. Just just bring it in. But your yeah, primary so jigs right up. Here, like Stand where I am. Pass. Do exactly what I was doing. You got a little tiny, what is that? Oh, nice. That is cool. <laughs> what is that? A little cobia? Maybe, maybe cobia. Can I touch it? Do you know? Yeah, you can touch it. Whoa. Cool. A baby cobia. It's so you tiny. Can keep the baby. I don't want to get hooked. <laughs> Thank you. Aaron just caught a baby cobia on, on this rig. Like I said, it catches everything. This is a baby one. They get really huge. So I gotta let this go quick before it dies. Don't go. I guess it's her first go. Very strong little fish. Stand here, Dad. Something flat for your knees. Yeah. You got here, bad knees. Yeah, here or uh, you can even go in the other side because uh, yeah, if you like the other side too, you can fish. It's the other side of these bushes. It's a nice flat area right there. Okay. So yeah, you can check. That's a good spot too. Yeah, that's. I mean, that good spot. Okay, spot. This is a hot spot, Dad. Come here. Jig is low. He got big jigs, which is good. Yeah. It's prepared for the building. Jack. Hey, 
go. Somehow, the clam fell off of this one and then landed on this hook. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Same size. Jack. Between Jake's and Pump on the CC, they give you that hand handshake. Yeah, right I there. like the handshake. Yeah, that's the only difference. But they find it. Find it. Fun. You got a jack too? Yeah. Nice. So this. Same size, I think a uh, school of jacks would be. If I were to come stand here and jig, what would you tell me? Okay, if you were to come stand here and jig, I'd say cast right into that, see that deeper water right there? Let it sink to the bottom and just give it a quick flick. Look how much I'm retrieving. Just like one turn. Pop on a nice fish. Oh, pop on a nice fish? No, that's a pompano. I know, I think it's Jake. Oh, that's a pompano, Dad. Oh, it's a yellowtail pompano. Yeah. A yellowtail pompano. <laughs> a lot of people eat them, you know? Yeah. A lot of people eat them. They bleed oh, them out. Oh, on one too. I think it's a big school of jacks. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They like to eat them. So I'm oh, just moving it up a little bit. Reeling in the slack. They're feeding there. Just, just a little bit at a time. Something that um, Bushy was telling me is you don't need a jig like that. I, uh, Huge jig, just a little one, just bounce it off the bottom. You can do it more subtly. And by changing up your retrieval speed and, and how hard you jig, you can target different species. Yeah, I better do that. Oh, that's a little 
It's so strong. There you go. Wow. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> I snagged it. Good job. I mean, that looked like a strong fight. It was. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I thought it was way bigger than it was. Oh okay. my goodness. Yeah, hold it, Thank you. Does it have teeth? Yeah, let me show you. Okay. First, touch the skin. Really smooth, right? Oh, yeah. What is that for? It's making a sound. That's called grunting. Oh. And these fish, they'll eat a lot of other fish. Oh. And they're really strong. You see how strong it was? Yeah. It looked like it was going to pull the rod in the water, right? Yeah. You want to release it? Actually, probably you shouldn't probably walk on the rocks, but I'm going to release it, okay? Okay. All right. But so why do you have to release every single fish? Uh, because I don't want to eat that one. There's oh. a particular fish we're looking for. What kind and of... If you, if you keep all the fish, if everyone keeps all the fish, then there won't be enough fish for everyone else. Oh. So you have to let, let the ones you don't want to eat go so that they can make more of them. Not even really, look. That's just making it go like that. Rather than this. This is big jumps. Which might not be. <laughs> that was a big jump. That was a big jump. What did you get? What is that? So cute. A little grunt. What is that? Not sure. I'm gonna let it go. Maybe it'll survive. But that's a small one. See? That's what everyone's going for right now. I think this is a little too small. So we're gonna let them go. Oh, they're so strong. Well, I had a really fun day. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not used to fishing an inlet with such light tackle. I'm usually fishing with heavier stuff. It's really fun to actually hit it on 15 pound line. I've never caught so many pompano on, on such light line. And to be honest, it's really fun. It's really fun because you can feel every head shake. It's really powerful. And ultimately, I had a really great time. This is a really fun spot. I love fishing inlets and jetties because it's a lot of fish go through. The ocean to the inshore. They have to swim through the inlets to get there. So time, time it right with the tides and you're gonna get on some fish. This is a really fun technique that I've learned to, to fish with these banana jigs um, and something that really helped me get on more fish when we put some of our salted baits on it. I put, I put the clams and I, I put the clams because the red color, I think that they're gonna really be attracted to that. I put it on the teaser hook for a bit. I was getting a bite every single time I cast it. And using that salted bait really helps add scent and it helps add color. And these fish like to see color. When they see color, they somehow get, for, for whatever reason, get mad at it and want to attack it. I want to thank everyone for, for watching. I want to thank the people like Bushy for helping me um, learn a little bit more about the techniques in the west coast of Florida. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series of, of Florida fishing. It's a lot different than the surf fishing that we do on the east coast of Florida. 
it's actually really different fishing East Coast and West Coast Florida and you would be surprised but you can take all the, the, the principles that I've showed you here and apply it pretty much anywhere. It's just whether it works better there or better here. Some places it works better than others and you're going to have to discover that for yourself. If you want more help, we specialize in helping you guys get on fish. We want you guys to learn how to catch fish and we want, we want it to be easy for you to learn. And we do this by filming videos like this and we also do ebooks. We write lots of ebooks and tutorials that we publish on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. If you want to learn more, I, want, I encourage you to visit our website. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.